back to memory again chronic stress and memory remember our clients if we're working with them they need to actually understand what we're asking them to do and remember one week of stress has an impact on your hippocampus so remember what did the hippocampus do again it was your spatial memory your organization so you have one week of stress you can't find your car keys you can't remember where you are in space all of those sorts of things they're the clients that are going to leave their water bottles at your studio they're going to be the clients that forget their appointments because they've written it down in the diary but they can't find the diary chronic stress also impacts on your frontal lobe it stops you from organizing things and remembering things so you've got the strategy you've written it in the diary to help you deal with it but you've forgotten that you've written it in the diary but remember the prefrontal cortex all of that there is also about our motor control remember how we talked about those lobes your motor association areas and your motor homunculus all of that information and processing can be affected by stress so you start to see a little bit more jerkier movements sort of yeah, it's, they're not in the flow it also affects your amygdala remember that limbic system we talked about that in chapter one and so the stress all of those hormones running through makes you more upset that's when you will flip your lid and you start yelling at people very quickly the fuse gets very short because the stress is affecting how that limbic system works so stress is a big thing and understanding that's important the other thing is chronic stress affects people differently at different stages of their development process what I've done is written in the book a nice handy little chart because chronic stress in the embryo chronic stress in childhood chronic stress in teenage years your middle years and your adult years will have different impacts on different parts of your brain so when we go back and have a look at what those sections of the brain do you'll go ah oh, that explains it so that's all great but what do you do to deal with chronic stress well some of the things that you can do in a movement class kind of simple part of it is bringing the focus back on breath remember as we breathe when we're stressed our breath becomes very short and very high but we can try and stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and allow ourselves to lower and find our inner zen by making bigger bigger belly breaths big diaphragmatic breath I kind of heard that this sort of works in Pilates and yoga so remember to bring a breath focus now I'm not saying you start the class by going breathe in breathe out because oh gosh that's just going to stress them out more but what you might start to do is have somebody open their chest out allow themselves over a spine correct or lie over a ball foam roller pillow bolster whatever it is to help them open out the chest fill in and out you might make sure that when they first start the lesson you go karma you don't start them by doing something like hundreds where they're pumping away they're already stressed and you're going to get their heart rate going you might actually have that client coming in make them turn their mobile phone off hide it in another room keep the music soft keep your lights soft as well so that you can actually help them calm then you get them doing their big breaths start them slow work through and as they go through the session you might start working them faster just remember working slow doesn't mean easy sometimes working slow and precisely and with quite great focus might get a better result for your clients think of it they have all of the stuffing going on in their head and their brain their memory 
But remember what's the other aspect of memory? Is attention. By helping them take their attention away from all of that stuff causing them stress, bringing them into their body and making them aware of their body functions can be a very nice way of helping them cope with the stress and helping them cope with the parasympathetic nervous system response to organizing them.